Hey guys, I got some Iron Man tips and tricks and all that shit, man. We got beginning to mediocre to holy fuck. Why? How? What the? Where'd you find this shit? So, uh, yeah, keep tuned. Uh, maybe you'll learn something. Maybe not. And if you do like the video, uh, probably should hit that like button. Helps me out. Makes my boner hard. I don't know why I just said that. I also do have a progress video, uh, and I do have a bank video. So if you want to check that out, any progress on Iron Man, go for it. And yeah, guys, keep tuned for them clips. Thanks for watching. So first tip is going to be going with Castle Wars. As you can see, we're at Castle Wars, which is a really easy place to get to. You can just hit the mini games teleport or Ring of Dueling. And while you're here, this is one of the fastest. There may even be another fastest, but it's like the easiest place to get to, to get to your fairy rings. And if you don't know what fairy rings are, I will tell you how to unlock them. Uh, I'm not going to give such a long layout because it's a tips and tricks video and not a goddamn guide. But it's fairly, fairly decently easy. Unless you get really shit items for the quest, but it can be easy. And yeah, so the fairy ring's just located right... Eh, hit that map though, right here. Right there. Any arrow pointing downwards, that's a, it's a goddamn fairy ring. So, once you hit this right here, you're gonna be teleported right to the... Where the fuck? Lost City Village? Ah, uh, what's that shit called? I have no idea, but let's skip past that. So yeah, you'll be here. Now, how to unlock the fairy rings, a lot of people know this really basic knowledge, is you're gonna want to do uh, Fairy Tale Part 1, which is in the quest. Where is it down here? And fairy tale part one's gonna be a pain. You have three random items you have to get, but get that shit done. It's not too hard. It really isn't. The boss isn't even that hard. You can there's a safe spot for him. It's really easy. You could just YouTube that. So once you got that done, what you're gonna want to do is talk to that farmer who started the quest right outside of Draenor. And uh, once you talk to him, start fairy tale part two. Very very simple. You just gotta start it. Up until the part where you get, uh, you just check a couple things out, you talk back to the Godfather, and he said, you have unlocked the fairy rings. Once you unlock those fairy rings, bam, you can use the fucking fairy rings. That brings me to tip number two without having to do the next clip, because they all go into each other. You can go to miscellanea from the fairy rings. I know. Now, if you don't know what miscellanea is, it is an island that is uh, really... Point, quite useless other than the fact that you can collect your kingdom from here. Your kingdom is something that is necessary for all Iron Men. It gives you uh, wood, seeds, bird's nests, all that shit without you having to lift a finger. It does cost money, but very small amount. Iron Man, what are you going to do with that money? Uh, the quest you need to do would be uh, Throne of Miscellanea and Royal Troubles. I can put all the quests down that you need to do in the description, so you guys can go do those. I would highly recommend that. Uh, a couple more tips for miscellanea is that uh, there's an amount of money you can put in there. I think five to seven mils the max. Let me check here. But you're going to want to have 750k plus into the miscellanea pile so you can get maximum amount of profit. Now let's see. Do I have anything in here? I do. So this is just a little thing. I got maple seed. Ah, uh, some hard land. We got any rainars? Yeah, I got one rainar. So this is just kind of the shit you would get. You can also put it in other arenas. Arrears. I'll show you how to do that too. Just really basic shit for the beginning, like I said. So I got all mine in wood. That morning wood though. Uh, I would not recommend anything other than wood and farming. I mean, flax is decent. Uh, herbs is not bad. It's all right. Uh, you can do these. Just don't do fishing or mining. Those are really shit. Don't put your money in there. Uh, another tip for this though, 750k gives you a max amount of profit, so always have it at 750k plus, and uh, the maximum amount of Raynards you can have in the pile is two. So always check that shit every day, because if you go over two Raynards, that will not stack, and then you can't get any more. So if you leave it for a week, you're losing out on Raynar potential. So yeah, those are the tips for this. Oh, and one more tip, uh, mining, because you got to get your approval rating up to at least 100, which is really good by the way, always try to get that up. I believe mining coal is the fastest way to get that up. I just uh, woodcut with my dragon axe because why the fuck not. But, yeah, you might want to mine coal, which is located right over here. And uh, it's a really good way to get your uh, approval rating from the beginning of the quest to 75 to 100. So, yeah, it's one of the fastest ways to do that. So, that would be miscellanea. Uh, I'm going to go on to some more advanced techniques that you can use on your Iron Man. See you there. So this method right here is uh, known, but it's not too known. I, I don't know. Just keep watching. We'll see. So pretty much I'm going to show you how to get to Rock Crabs really easily. Uh, this is this is the part where it's well known. Okay, so uh, Relica teleport. Where the fuck is that shit? There it is. So you just go to Relica. And the reason why you'd want to train at Rock Crabs is I did it sometimes when I'm a lower level Iron Man, when I didn't feel like training Slayer, and it's just really AFK. It's nice. It's nice. You don't need food. Uh, if you have a couple defense levels, you, you don't need you, you don't even need armor. 
So I would recommend if you fucking don't feel like doing anything, uh, not even fishing, just come stand by Rock Crabs. It's really chill. So uh, yeah, you just go down here to Rock Crabs. Now, this is not the best rock crab area, but it is at the same time for a certain reason here. Because if anyone knows about rock crabs, is that you gotta keep them aggro. And the only way to keep them aggro is you gotta run a fucking long ass distance away. And that, that is just shit. So, I, uh, I found a, a method that I saw some guy doing here. That uh, when you don't have aggro from the rock crabs, what I mean by that is when you walk near one and it hits you and you hit it back and you guys have a little conversation, uh, is that once they don't stop spawning like this this bot right here probably once they don't stop uh, coming up and saying hi to you when you stand next to them you're gonna wanna run right into this cave here it's so beautiful it's like the closest way to get re-aggro look at that shit bam boom you got fucking re-aggro look at that shit and the good thing is nobody's even on the side of the rock crabs okay uh, well maybe a couple cannoners but those guys are assholes anyways so yeah there you go Reagro, and that's just half of it. The mo, the best part about this here is that you know how you usually have to bank, and a lot of Iron Men don't have houses yet. I, I am one construction, uh, and I just, I don't feel like making one just yet. I do have the log saved up, but the best, the best thing about this is you can bank so easily. You just, uh, first, you're gonna want to go in this cave here, uh, and if you haven't done this, you're, that's what you want to do. Come in here, go into the other smaller hole. <laughs> And you're going to want to unlock this area here. So talk to the Dwarven Boatman. He's going to be like, sup, bud? You want a ride? I'll be like, fuck yeah, man. So we're going to take a ride down into the, the, I don't know what the fuck this place is called. But you're going to see a huge, huge ass, just long ass intro for the city. And that's going to be the longest part. But once you get past that, bam, done. So what you do by this is when you come down here, you have unlocked a teleport. And that is called Blast Furnace. So if you just teleport to Blast Furnace here, I could walk down to it, but I'm just going to show you how to teleport and then come back and where the where the bank is. It's really fast. It's beautiful. Uh, and I use this on my Obi Mauler, and god damn, it saves me a lot of running time because I don't have teleports and shit. One mage. Actually, nine mage. So, teleports you right here. Now you just walk down these doors here. Fuck! What the fuck? What an asshole. Alright, so <laughs> I hate when people... No! No! My computer just went off and I... no, nah, fuck it, we're going. Alright, so here's the bank right here. You just get all your shit you want, you know, blah, 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 blah. Just take all that shit, you know, get some food, some whatever the fuck, pots and shit like that, and you come back here. And it's a really easy way to get here, too, if you don't have fairy rings unlocked. Because all you gotta do is unlock the city by going down and talking to the boatman. The dwarven boatman. And I'm gonna show you how to get back to the dwarven boatman, just in case you don't know. So you got a full guide. Sadly, I'm out of energy. But uh, a couple of reasons why you might, might want to use this, though, is um, <clears throat> it's it's really easy. You know what I mean? Easy bank, easy AFK training. Uh, usually, you're not going to need a bank, though. So this is this is a method that won't be needed unless you have really low defense to get more food. You're not going to really need a bank for this. So, But I still want to give you this option to get here or to bank. And uh, the next method I have coming up is probably the best method in here that's not known uh, my friend told me about this method and I'll give him some credit for that so yeah here you go you're already here just run through this little hole and rock crabs await ta-da okay wait before the next step look at the <laughs> what, kind of <coughs> what the fuck kind of name is this? man PK okay sorry next clip next clip alright so the next tip is uh very very useful actually so you're going to teleport to Lumbridge and uh, just have the Lumbridge teleports on you and this is how you get to uh, charging earth and air staffs uh, and yeah I'll show you how to do that and I'll show you why you should do earth and air staffs only and not any other staff so once you go to Lumbridge you're going to run up here and you're going to head and I did not know this for the life of me maybe some of you guys do know this uh, I'd say it's more of an advanced method because uh, I don't see anyone doing this shit uh, so you just chop this shit down Chop it, bitch. Yeah. Shape the canoe. And, ah, uh, fuck. Which one goes to Lumbridge? I mean, uh, Edgeville. I don't know. Let's try that one. Fuck, I forgot. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. I have not used this method before, but I heard of it. So maybe I should probably test this method out before I use it. But I, it just sounds so badass. Get in there, bitch. Oh, I'm going to Barbarian Village. Oh, that's good, right? No, I don't know. Let's go to Barbarian Village. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think. I don't know. But 
the reason why you shouldn't do air and earth staffs is because air and earth staffs are the easiest to get to, while uh, fire and water, they <laughs> are the worst. Not only you're probably going to die more just to monsters, uh, I know it's in the wild, the other ones, but still, this shit is unbearable. Um, just earth and air, I'll show you why. It's right next to each other, uh, the levels aren't too hard to get, and uh, you can just make air orbs while you're trying to get to the crafting levels you need for this. So yeah, if you uh, teleport to Lumbridge and then do that barbarian method where you go up there, you're going to be right next to where you need to go to start crafting some earth and air orbs. Or not fucking crafting. God damn it. It's charging that shit. Oh my god. I knew, I knew. I'm bad. So you're going to go right down here. And uh, this method, obviously, you do not need this if you have a glory. Uh, but a lot of Iron Men don't have a glory. And they're trying to oh, fuck me. They scared the fucking shit out of me. So, like I was saying, my friend called me, scared me, so let's continue with the method here. You're just going to run up here, and I'm going to show you guys how to charge Earth and Air Staffs, because a lot of Iron Men who don't know how to do this, I didn't know how to do this. I legit never made a goddamn Battle Staff in my life. So yeah, you're going to come up here into the wild. It's not very dangerous. Um, <clears throat> I think one guy tried to PK me once. And it uh, just I just went down the ladder and logged out. It was it was really simple. <clears throat> a lot of people don't PK here. Sorry, I'm still sick. But yeah, you're gonna run up here for Earth staffs. You're gonna want to go down into the depths around here. But I, I'm gonna do air staffs just just for you guys the knowledge. Yeah, Earth staffs are down here. <clears throat> if you're doing Earth staffs, you want to bring an anti poison with you because these spiders right here can poison you. <clears throat> Fuck my throat. And that's going to be really annoying because when the poison ticks on you, it'll uh, it'll mess with your charging. And it'll just, it'll fuck it up. So trust me, bring an air uh, anti-poison if you have one. And for air staff, you don't really need anti-poison. I've never really been poisoned when going up into the air staff area. And while we're up charging some air staffs, I'm not going to charge all of them. I just, I don't know why I brought so many. I just want to show you guys that there's actually a faster way. I'm going to give this method to Bonesaw because I saw him using this method but um, it, it probably was somebody else. So we're gonna go charge air orb, click, and if you just do that, you're gonna go about 1.4 times faster than you would doing this method. So wait, so bam, do all, it's really, it, it's what I do because I, I have the time, I don't care too much about total level, I just rather sit here and AFK this shit. But uh, if you really wanna be efficient, just bah, click, bah, Carpal tunnel that shit. Carpal, fuck, fuck, I fucked up the carpal tunnel. Just fuck that shit up right there. So yeah, if you want to do that day, that way, go for it, man. And uh, like I said, the easiest, fastest way to get here without a glory would be to teleport to Lumbridge. Uh, you're going to want to have air staff on. Really easy. And then run up here to the canoe. And uh, let me just see if I'm using the right one again. So uh, you guys know here. Actually, you might be able to craft any canoe and go wherever the fuck you want. So... Ooh, Griff is calling me. One sec, mate. Call you back, Griffy Griff. Do 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 do. do. All right, so we're right here. Chop it down, bitch. And then we're gonna shape the canoe. And let's make one of these, man. I was like, ah, oh, fuck. Let's make one of these. I know worst tips and tricks video. I just want to get it down for you guys that you know which canoe that you can use here. So that gave me some experience. It's not a bad experience, actually. And, ah, so the best canoe you can get, the further you can get. Okay, so you can make any canoe, and this time, use the Edgeville one. Fuck it, we'll probably be there faster, not the Barbarian one. Wow, I should have really tested this method out for myself. But, you guys can see that this is a really nice method when making this, if you do not have a glory, instead of walking all the way back. So, let's see where this brings us out to you here. Yeah, it's... Probably even closer, so yeah, definitely use that method. Um, and I don't believe I have any more uh, methods that would really help you guys out too much. So if you do like the video, uh, definitely hit that like. Take it, check out some progress vids if you want to, man. I put a lot of love in those. And uh, as always, thanks for watching. I hope it helped. Uh, come check out my uh, Twitch Reno. I always stream every day, man. And CC Kelson. I don't know. I just like to self promote a lot. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, um, and I'll try to get another one out for you guys with even better methods. So, see you guys.